Hey, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl. I'm stuck inside. So I've challenged myself to do 20 experiments in five minutes. That's four experiments per minute, which works out to about 15 seconds per experiment. I have not been able to do it in any of the dry runs, but I have hope. All of these experiments are with stuff you can find at home. You should definitely try them. Some of them require adult supervision, but they're all really fun. Okay, let's go. The first experiment is a cloud in your mouth. So you click your tongue like this, but you do it with your mouth full of air and then you pressurize it, okay? Like this. Did you see it? Yes, I hope so. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, use the principle of static electricity. Rub a balloon against your hair and then you can move water. Woo! Because there's a bunch of charges in the water. It works really, really well. That is awesome. Okay, over here I've got a hot pan. It's been heating up for a while and I'm gonna put some water on it and the water does not act normal. It rolls around like little balls. It's kind of like Pac-Man. The bigger ones eat the smaller ones. It's awesome. Light and frost effect, Google it. The next one, I've got a can here. I'm gonna put some safety goggles on for this one. I have a can that's been heating up for a while. There's water in it. I'm gonna turn it over into this ice water. Ah, and it crushes because of the pressure of all the atmosphere. Oh, I still need my safety goggles for the next one. This can is closed. I've got a Sharpie here and I'm gonna just rub with some pressure along the edge over and over. Oh, until it pops open. Love that one. Okay, the next thing, we've got the, the land of fire over here. So we've got an experiment with a candle, a bunch of water around it. I'm gonna put this jar over that and we're gonna wait a second to see what happens. But first, I'm gonna blow out this candle and you can see that you can relight the flame. Oh no, I think I blew it too hard. I'm losing time. Oh, check out this one in the meantime. This one's going out and the water level goes up because the air inside shrinks. Let's try this one again. All right, you can relight the candle. Yes, because, but I'm gonna put it back out with baking soda and vinegar. I'm not gonna pour the vinegar on it. But we've all done this experiment. You create a bunch of carbon dioxide bubbles when you combine baking soda and vinegar. And carbon dioxide has the benefit that it is not oxygen. So you can pour out fire. Did you see that? It didn't even look like I did anything. And the flame went out. I am losing time. Okay, the next one. If you take a tea bag, like cheap Lipton tea, whatever, uh, dump it out, you can make these little cylinders, light them on fire, and then as they heat up, oh no, <laughs> as they heat up, they get lighter and lighter, and then they start to fly because hot air loves to rise. Over here, I've got a bunch of needles pointing at this magnet, and they're all attached to strings. <laughs> I'm gonna heat these up. Oh shoot, no, no. Okay, oh, we're still good, we're still good. We got a couple. I'm gonna heat these needles up. And as I do, they're gonna lose their magnetism because they get above two minutes, oh my God. Ah! They get above the temperature where metal stays magnetizable and they, Getting close on that, that's really cool. They, oh, come on, go, they fall. Yes, yes, okay. Next one, you can balance a ping pong ball on a stream of air. This is the challenge island. Right here, we've got some interlocked forks. I'm gonna take a toothpick and stick that through and use the principle of center of gravity and get the center of gravity below these balancing points and I can Balance the forks, amazing. The next challenge, I'm gonna take this uh, regular string and pour some water with food coloring in it from this cup, using the properties of surface tension down the string all the way to the other cup. I don't have time to do the entire cup, but you get the point. It's super cool. If I take a hard boiled egg, not a soft boiled egg. No. Oh my God, one minute and I spin it fast enough. Whew, I can get it to stand up on its end. Amazing, okay, now take a card with a cup, turn it over, it can hold up the cup. Excellent, next one. Polarizing sheets. You can look through them and see the properties of uh, corn syrup and how they've got amazing optical properties. Take an Alka-Seltzer tablet, put it into some water with some oil on top and you can make your home lava lamp. 
While you watch that, I'm gonna take this egg and, and show you the property of impulse, which is that if I throw an egg, it'll get caught by something with give. But if I throw it with something with not give, <laughs> someone's gonna have to clean that. Okay, and here I've got a non-Newtonian fluid. This acts like a solid, but then it'll act like a liquid as soon as I, as soon as I let it flow. What are we at? What are Five we at? Minutes. Oh my gosh! Five minutes? No! We have one experiment. We have one experiment left. One experiment left. Okay. This one uses the principle of inertia. We've got these eggs here. They want to stay exactly where, where they are. Okay. I have one shot at doing this. I've never actually tried this before, but I'm going to hit it. We don't have the luxury of doing a countdown. We're just going to go for it. Here we go. Okay. Yes! Oh! All right. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Take that, science. Yeah. You just did Woo. 20 science experiments in 5 minutes and 20 I seconds. Should. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel good. I feel I feel a little a little sad that I missed it by 20 seconds and it felt good to have an amazing team <laughs> supporting the production. <laughs> hey, it's still me, Diana. I just want to take a moment because I have quite a few of those to thank my patrons for supporting me and helping me continue to make science content during uncertain times. So if you wanna join the physics loving community over there, head over to patreon.com slash physics girl. If you're stuck at home too, tweet me your attempts at any of these experiments, or really any experiments, that can be interpreted loosely, with the hashtag stuck at home science. And if you can beat those 20 experiments with a, with a faster time, well, the first person to do that definitely deserves a shout out in my next video. There's a couple more DIY experiments to try in the description of this video and that's it. I know you're waiting for it. Happy, healthy physicsing.